Welcome back to Vampire. First order of business before we do anything else is we need to talk with this asshole here. If you remember in the last episode we found out that they were scamming some old person who I think has Alzheimer's out of their money. Good evening, yeah. There's no It's time to confess, Martin. You've exploited Miss Gillingham's weakness to your own advantage, have you not? All I've done is smile at her and be kind to her. I've done no other harm than giving her what she needed. This is no crime. No, that's not true at all. You really are convinced you did nothing wrong. Young man, you are a fascinating case of shameless selfishness. You can blame a fox for that. They taught me never to expect nothing from anyone except lies. So it's bad parenting then? How convenient. Where are your parents? Six feet under, I suppose. When the flu had weakened my father enough for him to be too weak to punch me, I figured it was time to run away. Is that why you let them die of the flu? Because your father was beating you? When the epidemic started, last summer, I begged them to leave town. Neighbors were dying, houses were looted, but they chose to stay. Do you have any regrets about what happened? I haven't got regrets, but sometimes I'd like to make sure they're gone. Dead for good, like, it helps me sleep. Well, leaving the asshole father who beat him to die is fine. I don't know about the mother, though. Is that it then? Alright, well I can take them on. They're not sick. I've got all the hints and they're worth a lot of XP. Well, as judge, jury, and vampire executioner, I sentence you to death. I was just pretending. I caused no harm. I could have taken good care of that old lady. Yeah, you could have, but you chose not to. What do you mean, no harm? Just pretend- you stole their money and lied to them. Next thing I want to do is talk to Rodney, who's hiding down in the- the Skull Underground Enclave, whatever you call this place. Now that we found out why they're here, they're hiding from, I think, I think they killed somebody? Some sort of like gang related thing and now people are looking for them. That's why they're hiding down here. I think. Rodney, you're the man who killed that gang member, are you not? Is that why you are hiding in this godforsaken place? Yes, I did. I did not even know his name. Then why did you kill him? That arsehole always mocked me for the color of my skin. Usually I let it go. But not that night. We fought. He died. I mean, that's fair. I'm not gonna blame you for that. Whatever you've done, you can't spend the rest of your life hiding here. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Not kill him. I'm not responsible for a murder if I didn't want to commit it. It was an accident. Believe me, Rodney, you won't survive here long. No matter what you did, you must go back to where you used to live. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die, remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. C can I do something to make sure that they don't die? Shit, should I just never have spoken with them? Maybe they would have been safer down here. Crap. How are they looking, by the way? Not that I'm going to eat them, but... Still three hints undone. I guess they're selecting some tinned food to take with them for the journey? Well, maybe I'll see them topside later and can speak with them more and learn more about them. I'm back to the eastern docks now, trying to do this quest where I need to find the necklace lost by Seymour Fishburne. Now, if you remember from our conversation with Seymour, uh, this necklace is actually their mother's, which is the only reason I'm doing the quest, because Seymour themselves themselves? Yes. Seymour themselves are a complete dickhead. I'm probably actually going to bite them. But I at least want to get their mother's necklace back before that. So I'm over here, near where the train is, and I guess I'm about to reach the end of the 
search area that the necklace is supposed to be inside of. So this probably is not where the necklace is, but nonetheless, I found this and I want to know what's inside. Oh, wait a minute. We escaped down here, didn't we? At the beginning of the game. Whoa. What's going on? I don't see enemies around here. Why did it take it out? Now, where does this go? Oh, just standing around here. I was actually going to check down here, too. This is a slaughterhouse. Whoa. Guess I haven't been here, then. There's a necklace! Uh, from Seymour to my beloved mother, Stella. Uh, why is this here? From Seymour to my beloved mother, Stella. Fishburn, that sneaky bastard. Wait, I don't get it. What? It, what's the trick? What exactly are they up to? It's locked. I still don't understand what the supposed trick was. I know it's in a creepy place, like a murder cave, and it's bloody, but Seymour said I lost my mother's necklace, and then I found it, and there's a note saying from Seymour to Stella, my mother. But that seems in line with what they said? Uh, I'm obviously missing something. But the decision in the quest now is to give it back to, to uh, Seymour, or give it directly to Stella. And since, well, the other person's an asshole, and I want to give it back to Stella to begin with, might as well just do that. I believe you may find this necklace of interest. What is it? I don't understand. It's a gift your son was hoping to give you. But I'm afraid it links him to the nearby murders. You mean this belongs to one of his victims? Jesus. I knew this day would come. I'm sorry, what? Please, Dr. Reed. Accept this for your trouble and leave me be. This day? You mean you already knew? Are you buying my silence? I will not be an accomplice in this. What? No. No. My son's crimes distress me more than you can imagine. But I'm his mother. I love him, I do. Your son's gone way beyond simply bullying people. He has a taste for blood, and you know it, don't you, Stella? One night, he told me straight up, in his own words. It was several days after one of his... episodes. Why did he confess? Did you suspect something? No. I guess he wanted his old mum to help him fight his, uh... demons. Did Seymour tell you everything that night? More than I could stand. The words he used to describe his... hate, his rage, how he feels when he's done it. Tell me about these demons Seymour needs your help to fight. Seymour used to be such a happy child. And he is still a helping son most of the time. But when he gets angry, he can hardly contain his rage. All men and women are born innocent, Mrs. Fishburne. But there can be a monster within any of us. Do you think he can be cured, Doctor? Do you think something can extinguish this rage inside my Seymour? In a manner of speaking... I'm afraid these demons, as he calls them, are just a delusional justification to distance himself from his actions. There ain't no hope, then. Somehow, somewhere, my son has turned into a monster, and nothing will bring him back. Stella, I know you are ashamed of your son's crimes, so why do you protect Seymour? I can't report my own son, can I? Not a burden I could bear. 
burden? How do you mean? They'd hang him for sure. I won't send my only son to his death. The situation will only get worse. Someone has to stop Seymour. If someone ever found the courage to speak to the police, I will take my share. Goodbye, Miss Fishbone. Take care of yourself. I can't remember the last time I had a good sleep. I don't understand the connections that this game is making. Oh, hi, you're right there. I'm going to speak with them in a second. I don't understand the connections that this game is trying to make between... Like, these don't seem logically connected to me. It started out with Philip saying, I lost this necklace that I wanted to give my mother. Can you please find it? And then I find it in a creepy murder den. And Jonathan instantly seems to go, Oh my god, this is linked to the recent murders. I thought those were by vampires. Or something. I don't... Maybe I'm just forgetting the recent murders. But whether it's linked to the recent murders or not... How is the natural conclusion... Oh, I found the mother's necklace in a murder den. So it must have been Philip's murder den. They're the murderer. Where's that connection? I, what? Isn't it to I mean, there's a bunch of dead bodies in the murder den. <laughs> Isn't it possible, given that they lost it, that someone found it? Someone had stolen it? And then their body just ended up in the murder den? And that's why the necklace was there? I don't understand the connection. It doesn't make any sense at all to me. It seems totally disjointed. But, uh... Okay. Let's just run with a conclusion. Tell me about your victims, Seymour. Who were they? Why them? Was there a link? Why should there be? They just kept getting on my nerves at the worst times, that's all. You feel nothing, do you? No empathy for your victims at all. You seem pretty calm yourself, don't you? We're not talking about me. That right? Well, our calm's the only thing we have in common then. Okay, you sound like a psychopath, I think. How many? How many victims? It's not like I keep records. It happens when it happens. Did you take pleasure in killing them, Seymour? All those people, all those lives extinguished. I take no pleasure from it. Just gives me peace. Stills the anger. For a time. You should seek help. Well, true, but uh, I don't think there's any need for that. This rage you feel, have you ever been able to control it? Resist it? I... I tried. For my mum, I tried for her. Telling the truth made me feel better. For a while. Why is your mother protecting you, Seymour? I'm her son. She's the only one who knows me. Sometimes I think she knows me better than I know myself. I understand you love her. But can't you see the awful situation you've put her in? Do you think my mum would have a better life if I were dead? She seems so sad to know me sometimes. Death is an appropriate punishment for your crime, Seymour Fishburn. Cherish every day that you spend as a free man. It might be my mum's wish that I end up swinging from a hangman's noose. But she wouldn't want to be the one who ties a knot round my neck. I think that's it. Yep, we're both level 3. I can take them on. Got almost all the hints. 2700 XP. Yeah, alright, so it's at 87% right now. I've already killed one person. Martin Nightingale. Given what happened with... Was it Martin Hooks or something? Um, the ambulance driver? Given what happened when I took them out, the... The district just plunged. Really sharply. Given that, it might not be a great idea to take out two people at one time, I don't know, but you know what? Screw it. Not gonna give you a chance to murder more people. Good evening. Yeah. You trick me good, Doctor. Tell me. Who will take the blame for your murders now that I'm dead?
strong key. So I got a new weapon and a strong key. The key's probably for that chest in the murder den. I also got a new hint for their mother. Cigarette case, gold watch. Nice bracelet, wedding ring. Oh, that's it. I was expecting something really special for some reason. I mean, those are pretty good crafting and selling ingredients, so not bad. Huh. I thought it was a new hint for Stella Fishburne. Didn't it say that? But there's nothing new to talk about. Okay. Goodbye. Odd, maybe I misread it or something. Anyway, let's check out that new cudgel. So is it an offhand? No, no, it's a main weapon. Okay. Seymour's bludgeon. Solid bludgeon covered with blood stains and marks that prove without a doubt the violence of Seymour Fishburne. Great, I have literally a serial killer's still bloody weapon. That is grim as hell. Let's we'll see how it compares to, say, the hacksaw. So they're both level 3. 114 damage, 105, so it does less damage. Attack speed is significantly less. Uses the same stamina. Yeah. Wow, so in other words, it's actually kind of terrible. It attacks not nearly as fast, and it does a little bit less damage. Maybe it would do more damage, though, if I put some of the... the, uh... like, specializations on it. Like, this one has plus 20% damage because of the specializations. Even though this is level 3, it probably doesn't have any... No, it definitely doesn't have any of the specializations done. It's still... <laughs> Not worth it, though. Even if it did a little bit more damage than the Hacksaw. Attack speed of 10 versus 15. I mean, 15 is 50% faster than 10. Still not worth it. I think I want to make sure I do as many quests in this district as possible. Just to make sure, uh, to hopefully make sure that the district health doesn't completely take a nosedive down to critical or something like that. Now that I've killed two people here, and it's definitely going to take a nosedive, but I'd like to control it somewhat. And there's no one left to heal in this district, so doing quests, I think, is the only other thing I can do. So I think I'm going to end this episode here, but in the next episode, I am going to head over to Southwark and see if I can find the site where the bombing took place so I can do the Tribute to the Victims side quest.